Carrie Sheffield from New York. Um, and uh, Deepak said something interesting uh, about how some of the, the worst horrors in human history have come uh, because of the rejection of God. Uh, and, and you, Michael, you, you talked about um, secular societies as, as you know, paradise on earth, but the Wall Street Journal ran a, a really uh, telling op-ed recently about the 100th anniversary of the Soviet Revolution uh, and how you know, not only Soviet um, experience but also communism in China, basically 100 years and 100 million deaths by regimes that repress religion, that repress the notion of God, that repress human expression as it relates mm -hmm. to thinking about God. So how would you respond to that? And then also, I, you, I'm you gonna, I'm gonna stop you at that. One question oh. is good, and thank you for some recognizable facts uh -huh. that you brought into the conversation. <laughs> Yay! So thank, thank you. The, the whole you know, Marxist-Leninist uh, movement was a faux religion, in, in essence. They didn't do these things in the name of atheism. Atheism isn't even a thing to be. It's just lack of belief in God, full stop. They believed in certain economic doctrines uh, and ideological doctrines that were, in fact, quite anti-enlightenment. Uh, not at all in favor of equal rights and, and free speech and all the things that we think of uh, when we think of civil liberties and civil rights. They were quite against that. So uh, actually, your, your example is one I make uh, it, it, to show how what happens when you go off the rails of these core principles of enlightenment values, particularly rights. I, I w I'm wondering, Anoop, do you feel that that question gave some evidence for your side? Helps make your case? You know, I think if you hold a belief too strongly without investigating it, it doesn't matter what the belief is. You can believe in a scientific principle, you can believe in a religious principle, it can have nothing to do, it can be artistic. But if we're just believing things without doing some kind of research, whether I think we disagree on what qualifies as research, that's fair, but I think we both agree on that. So I think, you know, whatever side you're on, if it's an uninvestigated belief and we're holding it tightly, that's gonna lead to problems.